Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. I'm getting emails and the question is, does DIM lower testosterone? Because I don't want to lower my testosterone by taking DIM because that's what I heard. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for turning to my channel. Three things, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for tuning in. I've included the link in my DIM videos I've done previous down below. So if you need a refresher course, please do. If not, what, I, I'm getting a lot of emails and they're valid questions. And that is, I don't want to take DIM or I heard that DIM lowers testosterone levels. Now the, the answer is it does not do anything to raise your testosterone levels per se, but through the liver pathway and clean it out through the, the estrogen metabolites, it indirectly frees up the free available testosterone to utilize. Now, when it comes to guys, okay, males with testosterone, testosterone, we make it, we make a lot of it. It gets shuffled through the system. Now, the thing about testosterone, it easily gets converted to estrogen. How? Through diet, through alcohol, through smoking, even females, you can convert your estrogen to testosterone, flip side, by increasing the use of birth control pills. So it's like flipped over. So for males, the pathway goes, it goes from testosterone, and if you're eating too much fatty foods, wheat, gluten, dairy, so forth and so on, soy, it gets converted to estrogen through an enzyme called aromatase. And the goal is also too, to inhibit that aromatase action from happening. And I've done previous videos on that. So it goes from testosterone, the aromatase enzyme converts testosterone to estrogens. Now what happens with guys, we make 80% testosterone, 20% estrogen. So like a teeter-totter, when you're converting more of your testosterone to estrogen, it starts tipping over. So when we increase our estrogen production, we're inadvertently lowering our testosterone. And what happens, we have a, uh, in blood labs, I'm always looking for this, this weird marker, it's called sex hormone binding globulin. And what it does, it's a bus, it's a transporter. So it increases the production of sex hormone binding globulin, SHG. What's happening is that you're converting too much testosterone to estrogen. It's like the bus, it's the transporter. And it's kind of like when that number gets higher, that means that the testosterone is being locked in. It doesn't let it go for availability. So then what happens is that when you have the increased SHGB levels, what's gonna do, it's gonna lock everything in, the transporter, which lowers your normal testosterone levels. So what happens is that you're not, the receptor is not getting connected. Because what happens, you have a diminished testosterone receptor expression, so you have this free-floating testosterone, okay? And like a receptor, like a pen cap to a to the pen, it's not docking. So what happens is that you do have this available testosterone, but it's not being utilized. It's kind of like I always say this, so you ordered a bunch of water, the water came, but nobody's coming around with the cellophane wrap to open it up to make the, the water available to use. So it cannot dock into the receptor site. So again, what's happening is that you're lowering your free available testosterone. I've done previous videos on it, diendomethane. The benefits, the benefits are awesome. Cruciferous vegetables are awesome. Endo-3 carbonyl converts to DIM, but the problem is you need a lot of it. And with the GMO foods, pesticides, insecticides, so forth, you have to eat a lot of vegetables in addition to take DIM. Because the benefits makes estrogen metabolize down the 2-hydroxyesterone pathway. I've done previous videos on that. It frees up the bound testosterone. Remember, because the, the testosterone is produced and it's flowed through the system and it's bound up, 98% of it's bound and only 2% of it's free available. So you want to maximize that free available testosterone. And now again, this doesn't matter if you're taking testosterone therapy. You could take all the testosterone therapy in the world, but if you're not freeing up and make it unbound, it's not really being utilized. It acts as a natural aromatase inhibitor. So for guys and girls too, 
to testosterone that gets converted to estrogen, that puts a block on it. So DIM produces more good estrogen metabolites which compete with the binding proteins. So the thing about DIM, remember, it doesn't increase your testosterone levels. What it does, it takes the bound and it makes it more available because when it comes to estrogen and testosterone, they compete. They compete, it's a, it's a competition. When estrogen, I'm sorry, when testosterone and hormones are produced, the biggest question is, okay, so the testosterone is produced where? In the testicles, in the testes. So it gets in a bloodstream and it gets on a transport protein. Everything is transported on a transporter protein. Now with testosterone, it binds to two types of transporter proteins. One is albumin and the other one is sex hormone binding globulin, the bus. So it travels throughout the body. Okay, so what's the goal that we want? The goal that we want is simply to unlock that bound up testosterone to make it more free. So what DIM does, it actually blocks the bad estrogen from building up, so it makes the free testosterone more available. So remember, it does not raise the testosterone levels per se, but it, what it does, it kind of goes through the other side, okay, and that it works with the estrogen metabolism, so the good estrogen increases, because guys, we still need estrogen as well. So it displaces the testosterone from the SHGB binding sites to be set free. And I always recommend dosage about 200 milligrams, okay? So I hope this helps. Remember, DIM does not do anything to raise the testosterone levels. It just makes the free available testosterone levels more available. It's kind of like I always say, you got the case of water, cases of water, cases of water, but they all have a cellophane wrap on it. Who cares? What DIM does, it unzips the cellophane wrap to make it more available. So you may not need more water, but you want to utilize what you got. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I'll see you in the next one. Be good. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Hey, it's, over the last couple of years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.